Hello and welcome to Gold Rush. Um, so we are going to play Gold Rush, and in the true sense of the title, we are going to try and do it as quickly as possible. Um, I have played the game before, so I do know there's a couple of different elements, and essentially just trying to get more efficient and get more gold. So that's what we're going to go for, but we're just going to rush. We're going to just try and do our best. Would I like to play the tutorial? No. I don't rush by playing no tutorial. So, um, obviously at the beginning of the game, I'm going to be looking to take out a loan that'll help me buy some equipment so that I can run things efficiently because we need to be turning over gold as quickly as possible. And we'll see how we get on doing that. We do, do I don't need to see these things. I don't need to see these things. Why are you showing them to me? Let's get the correct camera and take off the handbrake. Right. So, we're going to go into the trees, into the woods. I have reduced the graphics because last time I played this, um, it dropped about 30 frames every time I came into town. It was ridiculous. So the game's going to look a little janky, but it's the gameplay we're here for, not the pretty effects. This is a game from, I think, 2017, 2018, so... We're not expecting huge things from it. We're going to just enjoy prospecting and earning some money from the gold. Okay, okay. Keyboard steering is always risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We run to the bank and we say hello. Can I get some money today? Excellent. Right. So we can. Oh wait, we also need to claim. D D D lease. So we do have to pay thirty percent of all the gold that we get to the landowner, as is their right, because they own that land that's got all that gold. Um, but we don't have to pay any actual rent every day, which is going to save us a chunk of change. So we're going to come to the shop. And we're going to buy what we need, and then we're going to go to the claim. We're going to get set up. Need to remember to turn off the engine and the lights. So this is the beautiful bounty that is mining equipment. So because we're going to be starting off on a claim near a river, we're going to get things like the sluice box, hog pan, but eventually we're going to end up with things like a mobile water tank and a small wash plant and a little fuel trailer that's going to keep us going. So there's a couple of things that we're going to need. Firstly, we need a generator. We need that for a work light, but we also need it for something so we want one with a pump that. and we want uh, four of these that need one of these and we need the extension that allows us to put formats in instead of two we need um ooh, ah, too expensive so eventually we can swap to an electric watt pump instead of burning diesel but we'll get there uh, we can't afford that Definitely, I know that there's a gold pan at the claim with a big box. That's one of the sort of things that will slow you down initially is you need to get, uh, we'll go with the four. Um, you have to gold pan everything. We don't need a splitter just yet. Uh, we need one of these. Light. And we need one of these. And one one of these. So this will be how it gets water from the stream and then this will be how it puts the water into the hog pan and we're basically going to use our shovel which we've got with us here to dump soil and pay dirt into the sluice, the little hog pan and then we will rinse the mats out in a bucket of water and then we'll pan that um, to give us our final gold. Now I think that's all that we need at the moment. Uh, there's nothing really that we can be doing because that's like four grand. The Nugginator, which can clean miners moss quicker is 23. Um, and eventually we get to the small wash plant. So I think that's everything. A little look, yeah, 1200, so we'll get that. Oh no, one thing that we do need of jerry cans. Here we go. Because we will need to uh, fill it with fuel. So 
the stacking order doesn't need to be perfect, but it's normally best to put the bigger things at the back. So we're going to put the generators there, put the hog pan on top, put these sluice boxes. And boop. Work lights that we'll try and fit in there. Beautiful. Uh, the cables take up way more space than you think. So they kind of just knock everything. As long as that doesn't fall out, we're okay. So we've got an electric generator for the light. We've got a water pump for the hog pan. And that will get us some gold. Put the jerry cans in last because we're going to go straight to the gas station and we're going to fill up the car we're going to fill up the jerry cans and uh, i don't think we'll be able to reach to fill up the generator and the watt pump but jerry cans will do that for us let's hope that we can fit this all in because we've got the buckets and the jerry cans as well i don't think you can store things inside the car you can't open the door unless you're going so uh, you'll hear it is. It sounds like it's raining. It is raining, but again, just for graphic improvement. So I've only got a twenty sixty. We are low budget here. Um, then, then the weather effects off. So it's raining, but you can't see it. It's invisible rain. So perfect. Our own little mining escapade. So. Let's go to the fuel station. We will fill up our jerry can and our truck. We'll head out to the claim. We'll get set up and we will start sending some soil through. We're just going to be shoveling at first until we get a good amount. The by far biggest source of income with gold is going to be nuggets. We're not going to get a ton of um, gold actually out of the sluice boxes. This one and it's... Um, so, in fact, it's just going to be the digging that's doing the majority of our work for us. So I've got a jerry can, I'll we'll stick it down there. Get the jerry can, and we'll stick it down there. Ooh. Get this, we're going to get it, and we're going to put it, and we're going to fill up. Ooh, seven dollars. You all got expensive. Time I played, I'm sure it was like two. And where's the other jerry can? Oh, there it is. I'm glad it doesn't care whether it's on its side or not. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Right, so we'll return that. We will stain that. We'll lift this one from underneath the cap. Ah, we'll drop. Excellent. Doing too bad. And just clip through that. Right. And then let's get going. So we're gonna to go to the claim. There's a little area for pay dirt next to the stream. That's what we're gonna be digging with our shovel. And then when we've saved up enough to be able to afford um, an excavator, a small wash plant, a mobile water trailer, um, a fuel trailer, those kinds of things. So you're probably looking at about forty, fifty thousand. You don't need to tell me this, go away. Um, then we'll be able to upgrade and start running much more material through. So our aim is to make 50,000. Whenever you take your gold flakes and bits and dust or whatever to the blacksmith, they will smelt it for you into an, a gold ingot that you can sell at the bank or via the tablet that's in the tent. But you have loss because the gold that you get out of the ground is not entirely pure. So you will lose some gold weight. Um, and you also have to pay the blacksmith because obviously it's their time. And with energy prices what they are right now, it's expensive. So we probably need to mine 25%, 30% more than we would think just to make sure that we're meeting our costs. And here we are. So the main claim, change the camera. Main claim's over there. All that beautiful sandy colored material down in that dip. That's what we're gonna be aiming to dig out. 
But to start, we're going to be over here. And we're going to be just... Yep, yeah, there's a tree there. It's fine though. We're going to be digging out that side just with the shovel. So, let's get things set up. So, the first thing... Uh, it's over here. Can't see where I'm going. Uh, there we go. Nope. There we go. And it looks like it's got space for spare miner's moss. Um, don't think we're going to be using it long enough to need to worry about that too much. Um, certainly if it was a cooperative game, so one person could be panning the gold out whilst the first person's still digging, um, that would make sense. But what we're going to be using it for, don't need to worry too much. So we're going to have our work light. Ah, uh, you don't need to tell me about the work light. I already picked it up at the shop. So we're going to have our work light here, facing back over the claim. We're going to have our electric generator next to the work light, because it's the only thing that needs power right now. And then we're going to have our water pump over there near the... That's what we need to do there. And once we've got this set up and it's all working, then we will be able to start processing some gold. And initially, because we're going to be panning um, the pay dirt that comes out, then we need to grab the gold pan and the big bucket from the tent, as well as having a couple of buckets down here. One to rinse miners moss into and one finished thing but thankfully you don't need like a little snuffler box or anything like that um the game provides that for you so we'll drop that there and this is on top so this is just going to pump water down the sluice box for us the sluice box it's a pan or a hog or whatever and we can start connecting things up. So this comes off there, goes there. You've got to be careful because it it lays the wire as you walk. So if you do a really elaborate, twisty, windy pattern to get from where you connect it to where it's ending up, it will string it out that far rather than just doing the most right route. So that's to be careful. And I'll get to that story thing in a second. I'm just going to get set up here so we can start running some dirt. Because again, we're rushing. We're in a gold rush. That doesn't mean sitting around and the herd style, prospecting at your leisure like the retired gentleman that you are. Uh, we are a young whippersnapper, desperate to make cash, knowing what's coming with the energy bills of this winter. Trying to make sure that my family can survive. Right. So we just got a couple of buckets to the other jerry can, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is empty the jerry can into these first. So we just put that on top, and then when it's full, we put it on top. And when it's full, we'll leave it here. So what we need to do is we need to connect this to the inlet. And just drop it in the water. And then we connect the small hose to the outlet and to the back of the pan. Excellent. So now when I start that and that, we will have light and running water. And then all I'm going to do is just shuffle dirt into the top. It's going to sluice it down, catch any gold in these. We rinse them in clean water. We need the pan and the big bucket. And then I can pan it. We'll get some gold. We'll, as I say, we're going to get the vast majority of what we need from nuggets. We will get probably 50 times more from nuggets than we're going to get from actual refining of gold. For now, obviously at some point we will start making significant quantities of gold. Keep forgetting that they provide you with a couple of buckets already, so it's fine. Right, so we'll leave you about there. I'm going to have you, actually you go this side. Right, so, right, we're all set up. Let's start mining. We'll turn this on. To be fair, don't really need light at the moment. We 
do need water though, so we're going to find the little pull handle on this side. And now we've got running water. Beautiful. So literally, you dig and you drop. And you dig and you drop. And then you do this about a thousand more times. And what we're looking for is the miner's moss being 100% full. And when we can see it's 100% full, we can rinse it out, we can reclaim the gold. And then when we have enough, we can go and ask the blacksmith to smelt it, and then we can sell... Hey, we found a gold nugget. We will keep that. Half an ounce. Nice. Um, we can then sell it to the bank, and we'll get far more for it as a smelted bar of gold than we ever would trying to sell either the ore um, or not doing that. So we're at about 8%. So as I said, this is going to take a little while and we will keep finding gold nuggets. So we've so in two nugs we found just over an ounce. So we will see when we wash out the miner's moss how much we actually get from mining and refining versus just finding stuff in the dirt. So this probably calls for a time lapse. Oh, that was a big nug. Here we go. Okay, so we have filled our hog pan mat 100%. You will see that we've got more than 11 ounces of gold just from finding nuggets in the ground. So what we're going to do is we're now going to rinse the mats out in water in a bucket like this one. We're then going to pan that in this big thing. It's a little bit fiddly, but we'll do it. And we'll see how much gold we get from that as well. Um, not too bad. Took a little while, but not ridiculous. So we take the little bucket and we scoop some clean water. And we don't leave the bucket there. We drop it. And you literally pick up the mat and you tell it, rinse, 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 rinse. And put it back. We just do that with all four. You see the water get murkier and murkier as we put more in. And it's going to take four pannings, I believe. So here we go. Pour a little in. Drop this here. Pick up the pan. And enter panning mode. So we use the mouse to control down and up. And then we shake it, and you'll see the water go from that beautiful clear blue to a sort of orange. And then we're going to give that off. And we keep doing it until the water doesn't get any more cloudy. So once we've got beautiful clear water, we can keep our gold. And there is a point of sort of diminishing returns where you don't actually get any more gold for what you're doing. Right, so I'd say we're not getting any more gold from this. So we're going to enter collection mode. So we click and we click and we click. So I think we're on like 11.2 when we started. I don't see any more gold in that, so we can just tip that out. And drop this on the floor and do that all again. So we gained like 0.2 of an ounce there. Maybe a little bit more. But this isn't where you make your big bucks. This is just part of the process you've got to do. But, you know, it's relaxing. Honestly, um, Dan Heard Prospecting. He has a YouTube channel. He does a ton of stuff where he actually goes out to the real world and does this rather than just doing it for make-believe. Um, very relaxing. Very lovely Canadian gentleman. Uh, I highly recommend that you watch his channel if you like gold or prospecting or just nice people. But for me, I play video games. I live in the United Kingdom. I work Gold isn't exactly something we can just go out and get. And interestingly, uh, although now the Queen has 
died, it's the king. Um, if we find gold in a river, it still belongs to the monarchy. So the king owns any gold that we might find. So we can't just stake a claim and go and find some gold and make ourselves rich. Right. So, do this again. So again, we've got about another 0.2 of an ounce there. So we're probably looking from 4 to get about 0.8 of an ounce. So considering that we've got more than 11 ounces, just from the nuggets, that should tell you where the real money is. So if you wanted to play this game and you were really wanting a challenge, obviously turn nuggets off. Then you only get to keep what you actually have mined yourself. But that would take forever, and as I say, we're in a rush. We're rushing! Alright, I think that's about as cleaned up as it's going to get. So we're going to go boop. And boop. Boop. Mm -mm. Yeah, it'd be nice to see a game like this done in... Um, oh, well, that Got to enter panning mode. Sorry, just so I can tip these out. Um, yeah, if this was done in Unreal 5, so it had, like, sand physics, that would be pretty sweet. Right, that's empty now, so this is our last pan. Oh, no. <gasps> I didn't go dropped. Oh, thank God. It... Ooh. Thank God that pesky gravity didn't get in the way. Even though it went upside down, it kept everything. So I think that's because it's on normal difficulty. I think on hard difficulty, it would have burned my house to the ground as well as losing all of the gold. Right, we'll do one more. Right, and we're going to collect. So we want that one, and that one, that one. Oh, there's one there, and I think there's one over here. Yeah, I see you. So 12 ounces, not not terrible. Um, certainly for the amount of time that we've been here. Uh, we've only been here for 20 minutes. So, yeah, so we've got 12 ounces. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into town and we're going to get this smelted and we're going to see... That's the wrong button. See what happens when you rush around. So we want to do that. We want to do this. We want to take a handbrake. Right, so we've got 12 ounces. There is not a lot at the moment that we can buy that's going to significantly increase how much we're recovering. Um, the wave table would be a good investment because I don't have to pan. So I can just be feeding in more material, get sort of three, four buckets of pay dirt and then put it onto the wave table. Um, we would need a water splitter for that, another fat hose and another skinny hose. Um, so, you know, with the wave table, you're probably looking at about five grand. So if when we've got this, we can afford that, that's probably going to be a sensible investment. We also need another, I would need an electric splitter. One of the biggest risks um, with mining on that claim is that the water source can freeze over. So there is the risk that without getting the water tank and filling it, there will be times where we just can't mine. But that's an accepted risk because, you know, it's not going to happen every day. And we don't want to waste money we don't need to buying water for it to just sit there. So we'll see how much this gets. I think 12 ounces is probably going to be about, I want to say 6,000, maybe a little bit more. But we'll see because we have to pay for it to be smelted and $245 isn't a lot. Yes, yeah, so I can only smelt two and a half ounces. So we're going to wait. So
So I'll smelt this, I'll then dash to the bank, sell that, that should give us enough money to smelt the rest. We can then sell that to the bank and we'll see what we've got. We'll then go via the shop. And if we can get the table, um, we'll do that. If not, we'll do some more. And I did mention that we'd look at the story things. So you will find these little letters on the ground and that's part of the story and in the journal we will find the stories and sort of when you find them it then adds things in here and it will produce presumably a big story. But it's for another time. So one thing that will be super interesting is upgrading the uh, blacksmith because being able to reduce how much it costs or how much gold you lose would be super handy. If I wanted to sell this, so that's 4,700 and that's 40% of the price. So actually this is going to be more like 10,000. That would be nice. 10 Gs. So I think, so if I got 10,000, I could definitely get the wave table. That would massively speed up gold recovery. I'd still have to rinse the miner's moss into the bucket, but then I pour that onto the shaker table and then it just produces gold for me. Um, I don't have to do any of the faffing around panning, which would be a big time saver. Um, so yeah, I think we'll probably end up doing that. Right, so and then you just come out of the menu and you get a little gold bar and you can't put it anywhere so you just put it in the bed of your truck all loose like that apparently that's fine then we're going to take this to the bank we're going to say oi 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 much is this worth and they'll probably say like 1500 and then I'll say I'll take it and then I'm going to say right I'll come back to the goldsmith blacksmith and say oi here's my gold I've also got $1500 would you do this for me so we're going to sell our gold bar 2000. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to pay off the loan because I don't like having debt. Um, that may have been not ideal because um, it's going to cost about all of our money now to do the rest of the smelting. Wow, this thing suspension is terrible. But the smelting always takes the same amount of time. So no matter how much we actually ask them to do, it's always 15 minutes. Perfect. So we had $20 left. That seems like precedence. Fill up this whilst we're here. We'll keep some spare buckets. As I say, there are some buckets at the claim. Um, so that's not too bad. And we'll refill the jerry can before we go back. So we're going to get this ingot, take it to the bank and sell it, get some gas, then go to the shop and see if we can get a shaker table, a water splitter, a fat pipe, a thin pipe, um, and an electric, oh, we might not need to use a light just yet. We might be able to get another run in before we need an electric splitter. But we'll see what money we've got because the splitter and the cables that we would need are probably only about $200, $300. So it's not ridiculous amounts of money. And I jump on your cans, I can. And I climb up your house, I can't. I can get on my car riding. Thank you. That's it. So what's that one? That one's eight. Eight point six ounces. So again, you do lose some. Um, but that's why being able to do things like collect magnetite um, will be handy. So I think the next upgrades that we'll have will be a wave table. And then we'll be looking to get a magnetite separator. Um, because the sooner we're collecting magnetite, the sooner we can upgrade the blacksmith, 
the cheaper it costs to process gold, especially when you start talking big volumes, because um, it's all scalable. And oh, that's what I'd said. Oh no, I'd said like way less than that. Okay. So we can definitely get a wave table, right? We'll go and fill the jerry can. No, in fact, we'll get another jerry can and we'll fill both of them. Right, so we'll go to the shop. So we're going to get a wave table, water splitter, big pipe, little pipe, up our box. Oh. See, I'm used to driving on the right. Here we go. Right, so... Wave table. And as I say, this thing will make such a difference. Um, it's going to mean that I don't have to do any panning at all. So we need a fat pipe to go to the splitter. We need a thin pipe to go to the wave table. We need the water splitter, and it doesn't need electric card. Don't need any of the extensions yet. Uh, we'll get an electric splitter. We'll get short cable and we need a fat cable to get to the splitter and we'll get another work light because why not right I think that's everything jerry can let's forget the jerry right so for now that is going to make us more efficient so that's going to cost 4600 the magnetite separator it's only two and a half, but it needs its own other generator to run. Because this only outputs 450, so with the wavetable and the two lights, we wouldn't have enough power left over. It's only 300 to start separating magnetite. But to collect the magnetite, we would also need a magnetite trailer. And to be honest, a fuel trailer would probably be more helpful. Where's the water? Yeah, eight grand for water. Um, let's have a think. How much? So you use 150. You output. So we'd have 300 watts of power left. But we don't run them at the same time. Because it goes through this first, then that one. Right, you've convinced me. So we'll add that. We've got all the buckets that we need. You need a small water pipe. And another electrical cable. Um, we don't need another generator. I think that's it. Which is that now? Okay. Right. Excellent. So we will be able to start separating magnetite as well as making our gold recovery much more efficient. So let's stick these in the back. And then get our splitters in from underneath. So many hoses. Yeah, it would be nice if you could like hire a truck. I think that you can pay to unlock in the tablet the ability to order things from the shop on site. You're gonna stay there? Cool. Uh, which would be super handy. So, right. You're not going to stay there, are you? What if I set you in there? You going to stay? Not going to stay, are you? Right, that'll do. Let's go before it figures out what I've done. Oh, didn't I order a work light? Did I order a work light? Yeah, I did. I'll come back for that. Don't have enough space. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take this all up to the claim. And then I'll come back for the work light and to fill the jerry cans. Because with what we've got now, we can be doing more work. The work light's just a nice to have. Don't know how long they'll keep it for. It'll just stay there indefinitely. But we need to keep at least about $2,000 to make sure that we've got money to pay the blacksmith. Um, 
costs, it seems to be that it costs about a hundred dollars every ounce. So that would give us 20 ounce worth of gold. So we'll take these up here. And the magnetite, it collects very slowly and the bucket can just hold it. So until we've done another run and we've got some more gold, then we can wait to buy the magnetite trailer. Um, because you basically fill the trailer um, from the bucket and then take it down to the factory that we've just passed and then that stores it and then you can either sell it to the blacksmith or you can use it for your upgrades. To be honest, I'm only going to use it for upgrades. I don't see the point in selling it before we've got everything that we could possibly get. So we're going to back as close as we can. Back as close as we can. I don't know what we're hung up on. Don't seem to be near anything. There we go. Right, so so much stuff. Let's just so we can get to the good stuff. Ooh. I don't need to know any of this. Right, so I don't need to know. Oh, come on, game. Right, so we're going to set this up where we were panning. Could do with being a bit more level. So we're going to pop you here for the moment. We're going to pop you all the way over here. We're going to need you as well. Come on, right. We've all had a good laugh. There we go. Reasonably level. Let's get the magnetite separator. Okay. I'm going to put that on this side because you run it through the magnetite first. Magnetite separator. And then you put it through the wave table. So we want them reasonably close to each other, but not ridiculous as so. Why it's so jingly jangly, I don't know. As long as it's reasonably horizontal, we're all right. That's just the water symbol, so we've got some buckets in there. So, we are going to need an electric cable here. Uh, you're going to come up there for the moment. Let's bring the splitter boxes in to get the electric one. And I'm going to put you there. We get the big electric hose or cable as you may call it. And we're going to connect it to the front of that and the back. I love how it only shows how much you've used. So it's a massive reel of cable and we've used barely any of it. Right, so we're going to put you, and I can't see, but we're going to put you there. And we're going to use the fat hose to go from the out of the pump to that and we're going to always run from the splitter just to make sure that we don't have any issues with um, threading the output so you're going to go there and there excellent and you always reset your pipes and cables when you change things because otherwise it will then come along and it will be like, oh, hey, by the way, I don't like what you did there. You can't do that. So we've got water for our wave table. We'll get water for our magnetite separator. And then we just need an electric cable. Should be good. Go in this side. I have enough electric cables. Uh, I'll find out in a second, I guess. Yes, I've got a spare one there. Excellent. So you're going to go from there into there. You're going to go from here to here. And this work light is going to go into that one. So when I turn that on, it's going to power the light, the wave table, and the magnetite separator. Uh, the water pump is going to send water into the sluice box and the wave table and the 
magnetite separator, but we're only going to run these either or. We're not going to be running them at the same time. So we need to stick a couple of buckets underneath. And this is the important bit. So it's going to put gold in this bucket for us that's then going to go to the wave table and that's just going to add onto our gold amount. We don't need to do anything else with it. No panning, anything. The dirt is just going to keep building, 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 building. When that gets to 100%, we should have enough money by then to buy the magnetite trailer. We'll pour this in and that's how we can take it to the factory and sell it. So there's just going to be another time lapse now where I do a ton more digging. Um, I need buckets though and we can get rid of this story item. Thank you. Um, and we'll see. I don't have a specific deadline for oh, I'm going to do this much and then stop kind of thing. Um, we're just going to see, because again, most of our gold comes from nuggets, not from actual mining. Uh, which is a shame, but also a blessing. So, take you anyway, just in case. Never know when you're going to need more buckets. Right, so I think we're good. It's starting to get dark as the moon. It's only half four in the afternoon, so I'm guessing this is something to do with being this far north. So let's get some light on the situation. And we're going to start you up. Excellent. Right. So we start digging. And of course, watching out for the hose. So let's have another time lapse. Okay, so we're going to clean up our mats. They're at 100%. And then we're going to run them through the magnetite separator and then through the wave table. And that should just give us gold. We got a little bit more gold in the nuggets this time. Uh, only about half an ounce, but it all adds up. So, we've got our bucket here. We're going to just drop it there. We are going to turn the magnetite separator on. And we're going to pull that in. So one bucket only fills the hopper by a quarter. So we're not talking big amounts here. And what we need to do is just check. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's got water. Okay, so I turned the water pump off. But that's okay, I can fix it. There we go, and you can see, so it's filling up the gold bucket and the magnetite, there's barely anything yet. So until this bucket is 100% full, which is the dirt bucket here, then we don't need to worry about that so much. So we can turn this off and we're only interested in the gold bucket. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pour that into the wave table and then we're going to put this back and then we're going to turn this on and you'll see that it's running down the 44% that we put in and our gold is just ticking up. So we've gone from 11.8-ish, and we'll just see what we end up at. So we've got mm, 0.8 of an ounce. So from all the panning that I did, got just a little bit less. But you'll see how easier that was by just washing the mats, magnetite separator, and then into here. And that's it. None of that faffing, and I can just start digging again now and get another lot through. So we're okay for fuel on that side, need a little bit more on that side. But my thought was, if I do another full Miner's Moss lot, um, and then that should give us about 24, 25 ounces. Um, I did have a thought though, because I did see on this, that water, that when I have a shovel, have the option of putting it into this? Do I? Oh no, that's just the buckets that are here. That's okay, yeah. Right, so let's put this on the ground. Let's turn this off. That's okay, I thought I could just dump it in directly, but bad. Right, so we're gonna do another 100% clean up and then we'll go and sell the gold and then we'll see what's next. Um, as I say, Water source can freeze over, so the mobile water tank's probably a good investment. Um, what we're looking for, though, is ways to increase throughput. Um, 
best way to do that would be to start working the other side of the claim using a excavator and a small wash plant. That's a little way off though. Because um, as I say, you probably want about 50,000 for that. And if we get 25 ounces, we're probably talking 20, 30,000. So having the mobile water tank would be useful either way. Because um, the small wash plant would be able to use it as well. So we'll do one more run here. We'll go and clean up the gold, see what we've got. And then we'll see what's going to be the most use. I could always use the small wash plant here. But I would need an excavator at the same time. And it's just faffy. So it's easier to just do everything on the other side. So, incoming time lapse. Right, well, I don't know what I've done to annoy the... Nugget gods, but we've not had nearly as much from them as we had last time. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what we end up with. But we're going to end up about 24, 25 ounces. We might end up with about 18 if we're lucky. So we'll see. Get this cleaned up, then we'll go and see what that means in terms of cash. Again, in terms of like speeding up the process, now that we've got the wave table and the magnetite separator, magnetite separator, um, there's not a ton more that we can do. Um, we're just going to have to muddle through. In terms of efficiency in the thing. It's more about protecting the ability to keep working. So like having light at night. Oh, 10 ounces, that's not bad. Oh, magnetite to the bucket, okay. So it's still at 0% despite being 10 ounces in there. So we want the gold, do this. Then we're gonna put, then we turn you off. Um, yeah, so it, it's about protecting the ability to keep working. So lights for when it's dark, the water tank for when the water source freezes over. Um, but beyond that, there's not a lot more we can do to be more efficient here. The next thing, as I say, would be to massively expand onto the other side, onto the large claim, using an excavator and a wash plant. But that's, that's a way off. Right, so we only got 0.76 of an ounce. So let's turn that off. So, we'll need to refill you. We'll leave you on for the moment. I think the jerry can's in here. We do have a headlight, which is handy. Jerry can. So let's just refill both of our generators, and then we'll go and we'll get this gold converted. Okay, this tank is empty. About this one. Excellent. Excellent. Right, so we'll turn you off. So we'll take the jerry cans with us because we'll want to refill them, make sure that we've got fuel. And it is so tempting when the fuel trailer is only two and a half thousand, or it's like quite cheap. But then you forget that it holds like four thousand dollars worth of gas. It's like, oh yeah, I'll get that. That'll be uh, a good investment. Oh wait, I can't afford it. Oops. But yeah, so we're going to try and get over that hill at some point. Um, so we'll smelt this gold, we'll sell it, we'll see what that means in terms of pricing. Um, I'll have a look at what we can get to increase what we're doing. Oops, probably need to pay someone to fix the car. Um, the magnetite, as I say, it's going to take a while to build up because we need a lot of it to upgrade the blacksmith, but there's no point in selling it because we need the trailer. The magnetite trailer is probably going to be a good thing to get soon, but we don't need it right now because we haven't even filled 1% of the bucket with magnetite and we'll only need to empty it into the trailer when we get to 100%. So keep an eye on it but the trailer's not the most important thing right now and it'll just get in the way if I buy it and take it up so we're looking for things going to add speed or increase the amount of gold that we get back that kind of thing. Uh, there is the big plant shop um, I might call in there 
whilst the gold is doing its thing. It's always good to look at the big machines and just see if there's anything that can be adding to our repertoire. At the moment, I don't think there's anything that's really going to help. Um, obviously, the thing that's taking the time right now is having to dig with a shovel. So an excavator is the next big upgrade because it just means that you move so much more material. So I've Okay. Definitely gonna to have to get this car fixed. Right, so let's convert all of it. So it looks like the limit is about 20 ounces, but this is gonna cost basically costs ten dollars for every point one of an ounce or a hundred dollars an ounce. So yeah, so go to the gas station, get some fuel whilst we wait. Sounds like a good idea to me. It's only 15 minutes, but it adds up. So we'll refill the jerry cans, top up the truck. Then we'll get our gold, sell it at the bank, have a quick look around the shop, have a quick look around the big shop. And I think that'll do it for this episode. And the next episode will be basically deciding what it is that I'm getting with the money or if I'm just going to store it and hoard it like a schmog um, and just run more through the plant. It would be nice to get to the point though where um, I'm not having to dig because digging a hundred times every time is it's crippling me. My mouse is not designed for that kind of work. Right, so we're going to fill you. No, get out. What are you doing? It's up. Put it there. Fill it up. And the other one. Oh, gold's ready. Excellent. So we'll put this back. Now, the other bed. Yeah. Let's drive over the pipe. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, what? There is a fast travel, but I don't know how that works. I'm not going to risk leaving my gold down here or leaving my car in town necessarily. So we'll get the gold. We'll go to the bank. We'll see what that means. 17 ounces. Um... I think we got about 12 last time and that came to about 11,000, 12,000. So this might be 15 ish. Yeah, 15.6 ounce. So I'm going to say that's worth about $16,000. So we'll go to the bank, we'll find out. Then we'll look at some shiny equipment. I say magnetite trail is probably the thing that we will need the least. So we'll wait on that one. Having fuel up there with the mobile fuel trailer would be handy, but to be honest, you know, jerry can for each machine normally will do you a couple of runs, so don't need to worry too much. Ooh, 20 though, nice. One thing that we can do with our cash is we're able to um, upgrade the tablet so that we can order things from the shop to be delivered to the plot so that we don't have to drive into town every time we want to get something that to be honest would probably be pretty nifty I can't remember how much it is right so what we're going to do is we're just going to get out here we're going to have a quick look inside just see if there's anything obvious that we should be using right now not too bothered about having a proper lighting rig Fuel tank, as I say, probably would be quite handy um, because then things can just run forever without having to worry about running out. Don't need to worry about a trailer. Uh, water tank would really protect against the water source freezing over, um, but that's not likely to happen for a little while. Magnetite trailer's not a lot of use. The mobile wash plant's cheap, um, but again, you'd, it's an S excavator bucket kind of thing. I'm sure the excavator is like 
15 grand or something, so we could just afford it. We've already got those, we could upgrade to an electric pump, and but then we're using an electric generator to run an electric pump. It's only 50 kilowatts though. So that's doing 450. Oh, that needs 300 by itself. Yeah. So we'd be running a generator to run a pump rather than just running. So we don't need any more of that right now. Probably do with another jerry can in the part section. Nothing really that we need because we aren't really using anything at the moment. Nothing's broken, thankfully. So we could do the jerry can. That's it. Right, we'll have a quick look over in the big shop. Oh, my work light. I forgot about that. I forgot about my work light. Oops. I'm glad that no one's stolen it. It's a very quiet town. Right. Let's go look at the big shop. See if there's anything useful. Because if not, we can just hold on to the money, do some more mining. To say though, getting a little bit tired of having to dig with a spade. So we might unlock the tablet. Right, so we've got my headlamp on. So that's the big excavator, that's 65,000. This is the small one. This one's only two. Oh, it's got an offer on. Might have to buy that now, whilst it's got the sale on. 15%, yeah, that's like 17, that's 80. They're all DLC, that's not happening. Rocker. Ooh, big fuel tank. How much that will cost to fill? Air belt, no, don't need that yet. So spots you need as part of the bigger things. Uh, trommels, too expensive. Dump truck. Yeah, that's too expensive. Um, Gorilla. No, too expensive. So the only thing here really is the small excavator. And it is actually on sale. So I think I'm going to get one. So it's going to save me, not loads, but it's going to save me money. And you have to pay for it to be transported, unfortunately. So we want it on our old Arnold parcel. There we go. So we've still got 6,000. So we'll have a look at the tablet and we'll see if there's anything that we can unlock. But we'll now have an excavator up there. I don't think I can use an excavator the other side of the stream because I don't think there's anywhere big enough for it to get across. Um, so we'll see. We might be able to, without too much faff, move what I've got over. It's whether or not an excavator could use the sluice box that I've got. I think I'd need the wash plant as well, which I could just afford, but then I couldn't process any gold. Silly. So we might um, basically do one more bill that would give us about 10,000 that would be enough to get the wash plant and the co hoses and things to connect it over and then we could start working the main bit of the but we'll see because we've got our extra work like now I don't think we've got an electric cable for it though seems weird oh and there it is my beautiful little excavator that it does take a ton of fuel though so I need to remember that Right, so we've brought some fuel back with us and another work light. So we'll just pop this over here because I don't think I've got an electrical cable for this. Oh. There. No, we won't. I'm going to pop it there. I'm trying to get them lined up so it's actually facing the way that you want is a nightmare. Don't walk into the water when you're doing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the ground should be way more level. There we go. Sort of. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, it's basically just going to be more digging, because as I say, there's no way to get the excavator over to this side. I think it's intentional, but obviously all the fencing there. So this has to be done by hand. Yeah. Right, let's have a quick look at the tablet, and then we'll call this an episode, because it's getting on for an hour now. So what can we unpull? Transport. It's no good. Mm, don't need that. 20 G's? 20 G's? Wow, that is expensive. But we can sell gold bars from here. But obviously what that means is we also have to ooh, take out a loan. Um, we have to go down and get them smelted. Um, being able to hire workers would be quite handy, so I wouldn't have to work the claim myself the whole time. But yeah, I think we'll call it there. I'm going to do one more run to get enough small wash plant and the bits that we need to take water over there. And the... well, yeah, we'll do that, but we'll also have the water tank so that if it freezes over, we'll be able to still have water over there. And then we'll just start running material. So, thank you for joining me. Catch the next one. Uh, we're still trying to just do it as quickly as we can. We've not done too bad so far. I think we're doing all right. I'll catch you later.